Hello, Kazumbi here, back with another episode of. Sorry, I knocked a cup over. Uh, episode of Lake Dangerous. Uh, 3.1. Uh, I'm sure by now there are so many videos about the crate, it's just overwhelming. But, here's mine. Uh, I did my initial video, uh, just kind of a stock loadout. Felt very much like a python, uh, but I thought I would come back and take a look at the crate. Uh, engineered. So I've transferred everything from the Python that I was running, uh, and then some, now that I have a fighter bay available to me. Uh, let's take a look at the outfitting. Hard points, still not quite sure what to do here, but uh, this is kind of what I was running in the Python. Um, with this large trio up here, it's kind of fun. Uh, I've got three modified uh, pulse lasers. I think I've got overcharge in the center and then focused on the sides for now and then I've got two rapid fire uh, here underneath. Again, just kind of a mix of stuff just trying to show some some power consumption and distributor draw and the like. Uh, core internal wise we've got running a 6A power plant. You can see the power consumption here. Pretty low. Um, 6A thrusters. Uh, now comparing this to the Python, uh, pitch roll yaw all much better um, than the Python. Let me see if I can bring up a screenshot here I took before I moved Python modules. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, let's see. So here I've just got overlaid. Uh, this is Python. Uh, so you can see here pitch roll yaw 48, 151, top boosted speed 505. So definitely a little bit more maneuverable. Then uh, then the Python. So that's good to see. <clears throat> And we've got 7A power distrib, charge focused, and a lightweight 6D sensor. Jump range isn't too bad, 29.67 at its current rate. Uh, fully loaded, 26. Uh, low fuel, I assume that's what that is, is always 31. Uh, so pretty decent. Optional internal, we are running 6C bi weave, which is producing 391. Uh, it's a little bit less than the Python. The Python rang up. Uh, let me check my notes real quick. By golly, where I wrote this stuff down. Where is it? This is stock. This is without booster. Okay, so the Python same by weave shield no boosters was about 440 about 40 megajoules less 50 um, and armor on the Python 6 is about 463 so I think that's where the give is with the crate a little less tanky compared to the Python but a little bit faster um, yeah, I think that's about it uh, we've got six cargo rack a single fighter, a 5A fuel scoop, um, yeah, collector control, frame shift interdictor. Probably swap one of these out, probably this cargo rack for some SRV bays uh, for like a full multi role sort of uh, loadout. Uh, but let's take her for a spin and show, show how nimble it is. I'm sure this is going to be the new, one of the new favorites in Elite. It's definitely proven to be a favorite for me. Fast, nimble, flexible. Uh, I think as a multi-role is meant to be. Still enjoy the view. Um, the cockpit is really cool. I like the uniqueness of it. Um, yeah. 
quick boost here. You can see that. 553 there. Helps if I set a fire group, eh? Uh, so this is two pips with that charge focus. That looks like I got my... Well, those are just the different mods. So, power goes pretty quick. Again, that's two pips. As we're charged focused, not capacity focused. Let's take a look at that with four pips. And again, this is mostly about the weapons. This isn't necessarily anything specific about the crate. But I do like the loadout. I kind of like how spastic the uh, rapid fire mediums are. Um, you know what I'd love to see on these? I think what I'll do at some point is do some medium or rail guns uh, long range. I think that would be fun. Anyway, it's a cool loadout. As far as pulse lasers go, pretty power efficient. Uh, as I mentioned, with that overcharged six plant, I'm sitting at about 66% usage. I could almost drop that down to an overcharged five. Yeah, anyway. So that's a quick overview of a modified crate. Uh, let's take a look at turning real quick. Deceleration is much better with the modified thrusters. Again, these are class six, grade five, dirty drives. Nice boosted turn there. This is an unboosted turn. Uh, you know, it's no, it's no Vulture. Like I said, that was just the last thing I was flying, but, you know, it's pretty decent. Access authorized. Clear to land at docking bay 18. Take a look at landing and deceleration here. Much better with the dirty drives. Uh, like I said, totally reminds me of the Python. Again, just a little less tanky, a little less shields. Overall, pretty decent ship. Still have a lot of pondering to do about this loadout. Uh, with the three large being on top, I could... A lot of different options with those. A lot of power up there. Um, anyway, uh, I threw on decals and names, just so you could see where they are. So, uh, so there's the front decal here. And this is the... The ID placement, they're all lit, which is kind of cool, the, the name plates. So that's the name of the ship, if you have names. Uh, the other, threw me off a little bit, but the other um, decal locations are here, at the very ends in the, kind of the metallic area, the unpainted area. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. I think that's about it. Lots of coverage of the crate, I'm sure. It is a neat ship. It's very unique, I think, in the Elite Dangerous world. It is it reminds me a lot of a of a Viper flipped upside down. Just a big one. Um that flat upper upper section's cool. It's interesting. I'll be curious to see what kind of paint jobs come out for it and uh, if they come out with a ship kit definitely spent a lot of time on this guy um, yeah a decent ship for sure anyway this has been Commander Q Zombie thank you so much for stopping by for this quick clip and update on the crate loadout um, yeah uh, two thumbs up for now uh, gonna put it to use do some engineering and we'll take a look oh Wait, one more thing before we go. I got a little dude sleeping next to me, so I'm trying to hurry. Uh, oh, I need to go to outfitting. That's okay. Real quick, I did... 
unlock the Guardian tech uh, for the FSD boost. That was on my top of my list. And I don't think it shows up here anymore now that I've unlocked it. Let's go take a look at that in outfitting. So, things I've learned, uh, they do come in various sizes. The various sizes equate to different trump ranges. You may only have one at a time. And they go in an optional slot. So let's take a look here. This is a class 6 slot, but I think the biggest is a 5. Uh, so take a look at the jump range here, 29.6. This is just a straight up boost, 10.5 light years. Uh, increased power, the mass is really light. Uh, which I thought was cool. I thought it was going to be heavy, but I guess that makes sense if you're increasing jump range. Uh, but you can see quickly 40 light year jump range. It's a pretty cool addition for 5.6 mil. Again, at Shinra Denzra with the 10% discount. Um, so yeah, they just kind of go down from there. So 10.5 with the 5H, 9.25 with the 4. 7.5, 6, and uh, 4. So, even if you can throw that little 1 on there, uh, it's a decent boost. You know, 4 light years, that's some engineering there. And I don't know if these can be engineered. Um, I haven't looked into that, but it's a pretty easy upgrade. I mean, if you've got somewhere to travel and you need to make some, some distance, it's a decent way to do it. Um, yeah, I mean, for a travel ship, I'd be curious to see an Asp Explorer or a Diamondback Explorer. That would be a nice addition for those doing long-range expeditions. Um, yeah, kind of a cool upgrade. I like that you get multiple sizes. Um, I looked at unlocking some of the other tech in here, and you have to unlock a specific size, whether it's turreted or gimbaled. Um, you know, as far as the, the internal components, it's looking at power plants or shield reinforcements, but as far as they go, I would say the FSD booster has been uh, one of the ones I've been most interested in since I heard about it. Uh, so, and again, the costs have gone down so much. Uh, just the one blueprint and pretty reasonable on the other items. So, anyway, that's that. Thank you so much for stopping by. Again, this is Commander Kazumbi. Not quite sure when the next episode will be. I'm super tired. So, thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you all soon. Uh, again, hoping to start with live streams here in the near future. Uh, but for now, you get these little mini recordings. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll catch you next time.